Hi guys, Beverly from Get Nailed Nail Art. Um, so today I want to show you how to do this cute little 3D bow and how you get this really um, awesome 3D look here and here. Let me get a close up of it for you so you can see. You can see that. So I'm going to start with purple. I'm using a number four Kolinsky brush. I got it from the Born Pretty store. Awesome price, awesome brush, and it has not lost its shape yet. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm just letting you know this is one of the better brushes I've had so far. So, I'm going to start by grabbing a ball. I dip my brush in, and I barely ding the tip of it to wipe it off when I'm coming out. And I pick up a ball. I like to keep mine kind of dry. I don't know why, it just works better for me. Okay, that way I can work a little faster. So I, I smash it out to the side, just like that. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Push here, push here. You can grab this like that and pull it up and leave that just like that or if you can't um some people have issues with it i don't know so if you're one of those then you can do this put your ball smash it out And if you don't want to um, build the side up, just drop a little bit on the side, right here, so you can build it up this way, if pulling it up doesn't work for you. Just like that. Might have to use two dots, one, two, whatever works best for you. But you, the reason is that you're gonna layer this, okay? And this, the corners, is what's gonna hold up the second layer so that you can get that cute little um, 3D look. So I'm gonna build up this other side too because I want it a little bit higher. Oops. Okay. So this bottom layer definitely has to be bigger than the top layer, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dip my brush in. I'm going to grab a ball. I'm going to put the ball right here in the front. That was a little too wet for me. Keep it towards the front. And what I do, I don't smash down. I barely grab the top of it and I pull it over to meet this part that's sticking up, okay? Then I go in and I get that cute little hole right there. bottom two. Just push in whittle and pull out to the side. That's what I do. Both sides. Messed up a little bit right there so I'm going to have to cover that. That's why I like working with acrylics. If you mess up, it's easy to fix. So, drag it in like that. And as you can see, you're starting to get that awesome 3D look. Then I take and make one swipe from the outside in. Try it on me a little faster than what I wanted. 
I'll do it on the other side for you. So we do that again. Grab our ball. Put it down there. Try it. There we go. And I pull it over to meet. And I go in. And I swipe. And I kind of pull up and out. Up and out. Both ways. And if you mess up, it doesn't really matter that much on the top because you can go back and cover it up. Like so. Then, go in from the side and then swipe in to get that cute old lady look. And then soften it, I just kind of run sideways on it. The middle, you just grab a dot, flop her down. Wait for it to dry some. And I go in and I make a little hole. Then for the ribbons that hang down, I grab a ball. Again, I keep mine kind of dry. Not been too wet. I put it down, smash it out a little bit, and I start dragging it down. And I go in and cut it in half. Just like that. And then I put my little lines in it. And there you have it. Get a little 3D bow. Then you top coat. Beauty in this. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if there's something you want to see, um, put your request on my page and I'll try to make a video and get it up as soon as possible. I'm new to this YouTube thing. Um, I'm just trying to share what I've learned in an easier way, in layman's terms, I guess you could say. So if you like these, pass them along. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.